plug it in, turn it on. Oh wow, so we've got the AC waveform, we've got about 250, 249 volts. Oh, so I'm sure you're thinking now, well, the nominal value of voltage, Gary, from all your classroom lessons at a circuit is 230 volts. We've got to remember that we can climb from that plus 10, minus 6. So we can go as high as 253, which we're, we're pretty close to that. Well, I'll let you into a little secret. My next door neighbor has solar PV panels, and that can cause a slightly higher voltage in the area. So we've got acceptable value of voltage, but it is slightly higher. High. Again, for investigation purposes, that would be really good, wouldn't it? If you had an EV charger that kept tripping off and there were solar PV panels everywhere, remember the um, pen fault protection also works on knowing the voltage. So if it starts climbing above 253, it can start to cause EV chargers to trip off. So let's have a look at the windows then. So we've got two red LEDs, which says it's correct. And then we've got a load of other information that can be ascertained from the LEDs being in different positions. Next, let's have a look at the, pressing the test button down here. So RCD in this house is rated at 30 milliamps so this one should be acceptable right so well you can hear it stripped off it's behind me let's have a look inside the consumer unit and we can see the sockets on the ground floor have tripped so if i re-energize it it is an rcbo afdd so it'll be a little bit different than what you're probably used to and we can see it's blinking three times and if i look at the sticker at the top it gives you all kinds of information depending on the blinking and a three blink is a residual current detected so when we come back down there the circuit is now energized but you could get a phone call from the customer saying i've reset my breaker and it's flashing at me before you even arrive you can start having a conversation with the customer and start working out what sort of fault it is how do i stop it flashing circuit is working but stopping it flashing just press it and it goes back to red so I've energized the supply again. There's nothing on the screen to suggest a disconnection time for the RCD. It just gives you the voltage again. So effectively pressing the test button at the bottom is doing a functional test, very similar to when you press the test button on the RCD, RCBO, etc.